Hey guys, so this is the part of the video where we're doing a close reading, so I do need everybody to watch this one so we can go through it together. We're starting, um, oops, I turned the page off accidentally. Um, we're starting here when they were together again, um, although the official passage begins with, oh, Mr. Conroy. When they were together again, she spoke of the university question, which again, we talked about whether or not that was um, the Catholic influence on the educational system, and then later it also became whether or not women should be admitted into the university. Um, and Gabriel felt more at ease. A friend of hers had shown her his review of Browning's poems. That was how she had found out the secret, but she liked the review immensely. So if you're not sure what the secret is and you didn't watch the videos, um, I would suggest going back and watching the videos because we do explain it, or I, I mean, I explain it pretty clearly. Um, and if you're not reading, if you're not reading Joyce really as an investigator and trying to piece together the meaning, um, then it's worth it for you just to watch the video and get the explanation. All right. Then she said suddenly, Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Mr. Conroy, will you come for an excursion to the Aran Islands this summer? We're going to stay there a whole month. It will be splendid out in the Atlantic. You ought to come. Mr. Clancy is coming and Mr. Kilkelly and Kathleen Kearney. It would be splendid for Greta, too, if she'd come. She's from Connet, isn't she? There's some um, argument about how that's pronounced. According to the Irish, it's Connet. rhymes with bonnet. According to the English, it's cannot. Cannot rhymes with untaught. Um, the Aran Islands are islands out in the West. And so, again, the West is less connected to England. And so it is um, further away from sophistication. So if you're over here. Yes, Amy. Um, you can activate Wi-Fi. Okay. So um, she's from Cunnet, isn't she? Her people are, said Gabriel shortly. Ooh, he did not like that. But you will come, won't you? Said Miss Ivers, laying her warm hand eagerly on his arm. The fact is, said Gabriel, I have just arranged to go, go where? Asked Miss Ivers. Well, you know, every year I go for a cycling tour with some fellows. And so, but where? Asked Miss Ivers. Well, we usually go to France or Belgium or perhaps Germany, said Gabriel awkwardly. Why is this awkward? Because she's an Irish nationalist. And so he's going to spend time on the continent and it's showing that he is um, not necessarily aligned with her values. And why do you go to France or Belgium, said Miss Ivers, instead of visiting your own land? Well, said Gabriel, it's partly to keep in touch with the languages and partly for a change. And haven't your own language to keep in touch with? Irish, asked Miss Ivers. So Irish, of course, is Gaelic, um, a language that's not English. Well, said Gabriel, if it comes to that, you know Irish is not my language. Their neighbors had turned to listen to the cross-examination. Gabriel glanced right and left nervously and tried to keep his good humor under the ordeal, which was making a blush invade his forehead. So um, why would a blush be invading his forehead? Is he angry? Is he embarrassed? Who knows? And haven't your, you your own land to visit, continued Miss Ivers, that you know nothing of? your own people, and your own country? Oh, to tell you the truth, retorted Gabriel suddenly, I'm sick of my own country, sick of it. Why? asked Miss Ivers. Gabriel did not answer, for his retort had heeded him. Why? repeated Miss Ivers. They had to go visiting together, which is part of the dance, and, as he had not answered her, Miss Ivers said warmly, Of course you've no answer. Um, I don't know if warmly is sarcastic here. Her tone is either sarcastic or the description is sarcastic, right? Gabriel tried to cover his agitation by taking part in the dance with great energy. He avoided her eyes, for he had seen a sour expression on her face. But when they met in the long chain, he was surprised to feel his hand f firmly pressed. She looked at him from under her brows for a moment quizzically until he smiled. Then, just as the chain was about to start again, she stood on tiptoe and whispered into his ear, West Britain. Oh. So we're going to stop there from that part that I just read. 
And we're going to look um, page 198 to 199 in the Signet, 189 to 190 in the Penguin um, at the critical analysis. So it says he cannot, let's hold on. Move this. Oh, I guess I'm all mummy. He cannot bear to think of his dead mother's remark that Greta was country cute. And when Miss Ivor says of Greta, she's from Cunnet, isn't she? Gabriel answers shortly, her people are. Notice this is from a literary criticism, so it's a, basically a literary analysis paper written by an expert. All that is just evidence. We haven't said anything yet. He has rescued her from that bog. Oh, bog here is used derogatorily, right? A bog is a low place. Miss Ivor's suggestion, a true Gaelic leaguers, that he spend his holiday in the Irish-speaking Aran Islands in the West, upsets him. It is the element in his wife's past that he wishes to forget. So we've talked about all that, but the piece here that Greta is from Cunnet, that his mother has called her country, um, and then, and again, not in a positive way, he's trying to distance herself from that as if like, well, she might have been from there, or people are from there, but now she's from here, from Dublin. Um, gives you a little of that. And then here we have, during most of the story, the west of Ireland is connected in Gabriel's mind with a dark and rather painful primitivism, an aspect of his country which he has steadily abjured, abjured, if you don't remember what that means, look up your week one bell ringer, by going off to the continent. The west is savagery. To the east and south lie people who drink wine and wear galoshes. Um, talk about the extent to which you agree or disagree with that. So in a minute, um, the video will be over. And before you move on, um, if you're move together with your group, you can talk about it. Otherwise, I do want you to think about it and make an annotation in your text. Is the West a primitive place? Um, is he trying to abjure um, his country in this way?